Alex, we need to talk about Samantha Wheeler. What does that mean? It means she's making a play for Delta Airlines, and I want you to stop her. Delta would be a huge client. Why would I want to stop her? Because she only went after them to stop me from signing Gavin Andrews, and teammates don't do that to each other. This teammate talk sounds great, but you just went after one of her old clients. I didn't choose Gavin because he was hers. I chose Gavin because he was the most valuable client to Robert Zane. The fact that he was hers just wasn't going to stop me. Wasn't going to stop you or was icing on the cake? What difference does that make? Well, considering what you're asking me to do, it makes all the difference. Lewis, after Zane ended up as managing partner, I wanted to take her on. But you said I should make a friend of Zane instead. So I went after Gavin to impress Robert. And if you're not going to stop her, I might as well have just gone after her in the first place. All right, Alex, OK. But giving up a client with eight-figure billables is going out on one hell of a limb. So I do this, you better deliver Gavin Andrews. I will, Lewis. You have my word. Samantha Wheeler, you and I need to have a little chat. Lewis what? To what do I owe the pleasure? Oh, you know who I am. Well, a man like yourself needs no introduction. That is very kind of you. But I'm not here for you to blow smoke up my ass. Let me guess. Alex realized he wasn't going to stop me on his own. He realized that you were trying to undermine him, which is why I'm here to tell you that you're going to stop pursuing Delta. I don't believe this. Are you seriously coming in here to tell me I can't sign one of the world's biggest airlines? Yeah, I am. And this isn't a discussion. It's an order. I hope you've had a chance to think long and hard about this. Because I'd be careful what you wish for. You trying to intimidate me? Just giving you a little advice. Well, listen here, sweet face. I get it. You're the it girl. Well, you know who I am? I'm lit man. And you could try to sashay your six foot frame around here like your Brigitte Nielsen in 1985. Turn me into a puddle, get me to capitulate. Well, I got news for you. It's not gonna happen. All right. I'll drop Delta. I knew you'd see things my way. But someday, you're gonna come asking for a favor. Might not be today. Might not be tomorrow. But it's gonna happen. And when it does, I'm gonna remember this conversation. And Lewis, if you think I couldn't turn you into a puddle, you are wildly mistaken. So we're clear you'll drop the client. I have to go somewhere now. Mm. I'm sure you do. Is that what I think it is? Renoir. Signed, sealed, and delivered. Mind telling me how you pulled it off? Absolutely. As soon as you hand me a signed engagement letter. You know what, I'm gonna do you one better. Why don't you take out your phone and check out the latest edition of the journal? I don't believe it. You issued an announcement saying, where are your new attorneys? I told you, you're my guy, and I don't mind the world knowing it. So, where do you want this? I don't give a shit, because it's not gonna be here long. What? Oh, I'm shipping it to the Cayman Islands, where a certain airline company is gonna pay me $55 million for it. I thought you said it was only worth 16 and that you'd never sell it. Well, that's the thing about art. Value is in the eye of the beholder. I want you to behold this. You want me to onshore 55 million from a blind trust in the Caymans? Gavin, I have to tell you, this looks a hell of a lot like laundering money. Well, then it's a good thing you don't know that for sure, because if you don't know it, you can do it, and you're going to do it. I get it. You gave me a bullshit story about this thing having sentimental value to rope me in. Then you put out an announcement saying we're your attorneys. And now, if I don't do this, you drop us and the world thinks we shit to bed inside of a day. You catch on quick. I'm not doing it. Maybe you will, maybe you won't. You better think about how you're gonna explain to Robert Zane how you signed me and lost me inside of two days.